Hi everyone, I'm Alad Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and for today's lesson, we have Back at One by Brian McKnight. Sounds just like this. Alright, what you have just heard was the intro, and that's what I'm going to break down for this first part. We're playing in the key of B, B major, and for the chords of this intro, we start on E major 7. For the left, E, B, and G sharp. And on my right, I'm playing D sharp major 7th and B the 5th. Then we have G sharp minor 9. For the left we will be playing G sharp and F sharp. And for the right we have first A sharp played on the second finger, then B thumb, C sharp, second finger again, F sharp, third finger, and finally A sharp, pinky. G sharp minor 11 going to C sharp minor 9, C sharp E and G sharp, B, D sharp and G sharp. Followed by F sharp 9 at 13, F sharp and E, A sharp, D sharp and G sharp on top. Now we're going to the one chord. I'm playing B, F sharp and D sharp on the left. Having G sharp, C sharp and F sharp on the right. And coming after this B, we have a chromatic movement that goes on C, major, down on A sharp and then back on B. We're going to use bootless voicings playing this. So for C, we have C major 7, E and A for the left, D and B for the right. Then we have A sharp, D, G, and C, that's for the left, F and D. Going back on B major, one half step higher. D sharp, G sharp, and C sharp, F sharp, and D sharp. So playing with the root, we have this, C major 7, A sharp major, going up on B major. 
but we have wootless voicings so we're going to drop the woot and play this way and then we have this C sharp minor with the flat 9 for the left, two notes only, C sharp and natural D. I'm using my second finger on C sharp and my thumb on D. And for the right, three notes, G sharp, C sharp, and E. And after it, We have a passing chord, D sharp 7, sharp 5, sharp 9. Octave D sharp for the left. I'm using my third finger on the lowest D sharp that I'm playing on my left. And my thumb on the other D sharp. For the right, G, the third, then B, the sharp 5, C sharp, the seventh, and then F sharp the sharp 9 D sharp 7, sharp 5, sharp 9 as I said that's a passing chord to go to G sharp minor 7 G sharp and F sharp simply B for the right now going down B over F sharp Octave F sharp, D sharp for the right, landing on this, C sharp 2 flat 13 over F, so for the left, F, natural F, playing with G sharp, pinky and thumb. On the right now, we have A, C sharp, D sharp, and then G sharp. And we're going to stop there for the chords and start breaking down the playing pattern. So from the top, we have E major 7, going to G sharp minor 11. Okay, so before playing E major 7, on my right, I'm playing B and G sharp, thumb on B, fourth finger on G sharp, going up a whole step, playing C sharp and A sharp, thumb and pinky, and finally landing on E major 7, playing D sharp and B. And for the left, you're going to play one note at a time. So E, B, and finally G sharp. We have G sharp minor 11 and also here we're going to play one note at a time for the entire chord. So starting from the bottom on the left, G sharp, then play F sharp and now you're on the right, play A sharp, second finger, B on your thumb, C sharp, second finger again, F sharp, third finger, and finally A sharp with your pinky. Continuing, we have C sharp minor 9, going to 
going to F sharp. 9 at 13, landing on B major. Playing this. So after your G sharp minor 11, on your right, again, use your third finger to play E, go up on F sharp, fourth finger, and then play at the same time C sharp on your left and G sharp on your right, just like so. And now playing one note at a time, on your left, play E, then G sharp, and for the right, B, D sharp, and we play G sharp. And now to go to F sharp, you're going to hold D sharp and G sharp, like so. And you're going to switch the notes that you have left and play the remaining notes you have for F sharp 9 at 13. So still press down on D sharp and G sharp and then play F sharp and E on your left, adding A sharp with your thumb on your right. And now to go to B using your thumb and your third finger, you're going to play G sharp and C sharp together. And then add F sharp using your pinky and play one note at a time. B, F sharp, and D sharp. Also landing on D sharp on your left, you're going to replay G sharp and C sharp. So still pressing down on F sharp. And after B, you simply have to play the chromatic movement that will get you back to B. So once again, you have C, A sharp, and then back to B. With less voicings, C major 7, A sharp, and back on B. Let's replay that from C sharp minor 9. again continuing in this intro we have C sharp minor with a flat 9 Okay, on your right again, play one C sharp using your third finger, D sharp, fourth finger, and then land on E with your pinky, and at the same time play C sharp on your left. And 
quickly after it, you're going to play natural D using your thumb on your left. And on your right, play G sharp, then C sharp. We're playing E again. Now for the left you have a very fast chromatic descending movement that starts on this C sharp. So you're going to play C sharp, second finger, natural C, going down, a half step, on your thumb, B, second finger, A sharp, third finger, natural A with your thumb, G sharp, third finger, G, thumb again, F sharp, third finger, natural F with your thumb, and then E using your second finger, and finally D sharp with your third. So from C sharp. bit faster and then you're going to reach up for the octave of D sharp with your thumb and complete the chord playing D sharp 7, sharp 5, sharp 9 again from C sharp minor, flat 9, continuing you're going to go down from F sharp playing one E, fourth finger, one D sharp, third, C sharp, second, landing on B, Playing with G sharp on your left. And then, using your thumb, you're going to play F sharp. So now we're on G sharp minor, G sharp minor 7, let's continue. So after you played G sharp minor, you're going to replay B using your thumb on your right and then play your lowest F sharp on your left and at the same time D sharp using your third finger on your right like so and then you're going to add the second F sharp on your left with your thumb Continuing, you're going to play F sharp using your fourth finger on your right and land on C sharp over F. Okay, so that's F for your left, one G sharp with your pinky on your right. 
And from here you're going to complete the chord playing one note at a time. So G sharp on your left, using your thumb. Then play natural A with your thumb on your right, C sharp. Second finger, D sharp. Third finger, and then again, G sharp with your pinky. Now using your left hand, you're going to go up and we play again G sharp using your third finger. And on your right, you're going to go up too and we play the notes that you have. So C sharp at two with a flat 13. So that's A, C sharp, D sharp, and G sharp again. One note at a time. Finally, to end this movement, you have the same chord again, and this time we're going to play a descending movement. So play first the top G sharp on your right, quickly, play D sharp, C sharp, A, and G sharp again using your left on your third finger. And that's all we had so far for the chords. So let me replay everything we learned, slow tempo. So we're playing everything, I'm thinking that I may have forgot to explain this movement from E major 7 to G sharp minor 11. So before landing on G sharp minor, on your right, you're going to play one G sharp, fourth finger, and then play at the same time G sharp and A sharp. Okay, so we have the movement on the left. Continuing on your right, and it all starts on G sharp. And with this G sharp on your left, you have A sharp with your pinky on your right. So just this quick note. Let's replay again, slow tempo.
And now we can continue with the chords of the intro. So, we have C sharp minor 9. Two notes for the left, C sharp and D sharp. Pinky and thumb. And for the right, E, G sharp, B, and E again. Going up, B over D sharp, octave D sharp, B and F sharp. Going up again, one half step this time, on E, octave E, simply one note, B using your second finger on your right. And now we're up on the 5 chord, playing F sharp 11, F sharp and E, 3 notes for the right, G sharp, B and C sharp. And finally, the last chord for this intro. We have F sharp and E, again. That's for the left, and for the right, we're playing A sharp, D sharp, natural G, and A sharp. So that's F sharp 7, with a flat 9, add 13. F sharp 7, flat 9, add 13. Let's quickly recap those chords, C sharp minor 9, B over D sharp, E, going to F sharp 11, and finally, F sharp 7, flat 9, add 13. And now, for the playing pattern of this last section of the intro, before playing C sharp minor 9, you have this movement. So play first D sharp with your third finger, then play a grace note from D sharp up on E. Third finger, fourth finger. Go back down on D sharp. Down again, C sharp. Going up on D sharp. Just like so. Landing on. So for the right, you're going to play E again, this time using your pinky. Just like so. And playing E on your right, you're going to play C sharp on your left. And then complete the chord from here, one note at a time. Play D sharp on your left, followed by E, G sharp, and B on your right. Going up on B over D sharp, playing this. So play both. D sharp on your left and F sharp on your right. Then play with your thumb D sharp on your left, followed by C sharp going down on B on your right. I have my third finger on C sharp and 
my second finger on B. Continuing. I'm going to go up, playing octave E on my left, and I have another movement. A grace note going from C sharp up on natural D. Third finger, fourth finger again. Then going straight back down on C sharp, third finger. And finally landing on B on my second finger. From here, I'm going to play on my right hand, one F sharp, one B, and then play my F sharp 11, just like so. So after playing F sharp and B, thumb and second finger, I'm going to play F sharp on my left, C sharp on my right the same time and then complete the chord playing with my thumb G sharp and B with my thumb and my second finger on my right to add this on my left I'm going to play this low F sharp using my pinky right after I play F sharp 11 just like so okay now to end this intro we have this So after F sharp 11 and the low F sharp that you're going to play on your left, go back on your right playing F sharp, third finger, G sharp, fourth finger, and play F sharp on your left, followed by A sharp with your pinky on your right, and then play E your left so you have this and after E on your left you're going to play back to back A sharp D sharp natural G and A sharp again From here, you're going to replay those same notes one octave higher. So go up with your thumb and play A sharp, D sharp, natural G, and A sharp. Alright, and then continue playing the arpeggio. Play D sharp, G, A sharp, and D sharp again. And finally, play A sharp with your thumb. And play another A sharp, one octave higher with your pinky. To end the intro. Once again,
Alright, let's quickly replay this last section, slow tempo. And now here's the entire intro, slow tempo. Last section. Perfect! We are now ready to recap the entire intro at full speed. Here it is. And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Euro.